welcome back to another episode of Kerbal Conquest, uh, the series where I do career mode with a K, because Kerbals have everything with a K. Um, this rocket is a space station, I think. Um, we got a contract to build a space station around the Mun, and that's what I'm doing. Um, the rocket was a skipper as the main central thing with four mainsails around it. As you can see in the space station, it doesn't look nice. That's because I don't care about making things look good. Um. Yeah, it's got the solar panels around it, and like, um, basically I just put everything that was required in it. It has solar panels, fuel tanks, um, antennas, five crew capacity. And to make a little bit of extra cash, I accepted a contract to put a space station into low Kerbin orbit, and then another one to put a, the station into low Mon orbit. So I used the same station for both missions, and I got double the cash. Wow. Yeah. So that was my plane change maneuver, so that I would encounter the Mon along its equator. Rather than it's the other one that is not the equator. Not the equator. That's that's what it's called. Not along its poles. Yeah. I think it, they're called poles. I might be, yeah, it's definitely called poles. Because uh, that's the English word. It might not be English. No one knows. And now, because Jebediah and Bill and Bob and Valentina and all the good people were trapped on that station, I need to just send a rescue mission to rescue them. Because no one wants to stay on a station for, like, a year. Yeah. Um, this ship is also supposed to rescue someone from m Mon Orbit. Because I got a contract to rescue people. So that's, that's what I'm doing. This one is a similar d design. This rocket has a, has a similar design. And then it's um a central s stage with stuff around it. Except this time I used bobcats instead of skippers and mainsails. Um, the bobcat engine is from the Making History DLC, which is the first DLC for Kerbal Space Program. It includes historical engines. I think the bobcat is Gemini or Mercury. It's based off the engine that those craft had for their main stage so as you as you can see that like on the screen well you used to be able to see that on the screen that slanted orbit that, that that's the person that I got hired to rescue because whoever sent them didn't know that you're supposed to send people into equatorial orbits so it's slanted yeah English it's a good language please help uh um, so I'm just trying to match the, the orbit of the other ship by burning normal and anti-normal at my descending and ascending nodes, which you can get by setting the, the other one as your target. And now I'm trying to adjust my orbit so that I can approach my target. Yeah. Yeah. Um, design of the craft. The craft uses three KV-3 pomegranate reentry re modules because they hold three people and I need to rescue six people. So I five two. Two times three equals six. Quick math. As you can see, there are two of them and they're both separate. But the top one has an engine attached to it. That's so they can both reentry at, not reentry, reenter at different times. English, yeah. Um, I didn't need to stick an engine on it, but I thought at the time that, that I did. What I actually should have done is is have the the one with no engine re-enter first and keep the this that this 
the second one attached to the bobcat, and I use the bobcat to adjust its orbit so it doesn't re-enter. So then the one that never had an engine uh, re-enters, and then the other one doesn't, and then I use the bobcat again to readjust the, the orbit so that it does re-enter. Re -enter. That makes any sense. This craft was severely over-engineered because it's got a it's got a an upper stage, another upper stage that's a terrier engine. But I don't need a, another upper stage because the Bobcat was enough Delta V to do this entire mission, which is kind of a spoiler, I guess. But what? Um, this is the plane change maneuver th that I'm doing. So that I can rendezvous with the space station, because both orbits were in different directions. And now I'm setting up the home and transfer. Well, I, I set it up already. Because I didn't show me... Because I never show myself making maneuver nodes. Because that's boring. Oh wait, no, that's not a home and transfer. The next maneuver node is the home and transfer. Yeah, look. I used the maneuver node to get within two kilometers of my target. And I did that by making a maneuver node and then dragging it around my entire orbit until I got a close encounter, a, a very close encounter with my target, which was the space station. It's not really going to be a space station anymore because I take all the crew from it and put it in these modules. So it's just going to be a hunk of debris because it won't have a probe core. Reason. Uh, da, da, um, I need to think of something to say. Um, so now I'm approaching the space station. It's, uh, it d doesn't really count as much of a space station. I guess it's just a craft. Because it still has engines, right? It's no, no, the space, the uh, International Space Station also has engines. It's just more like a tube with crew in it. That's the one that I made. It doesn't have, like, any of the features that you normally see in a space station. Like, the extending solar panel arms and all those things. And, uh, and it's not modular. It was single launched. But a lot of space station, a lot of Kerbal Space Program's, uh, space stations are not single launch. I mean, are not modular. A lot of them are single launch. Especially Matt Lowndes space stations. He he tends to like making single launch space stations on his YouTube channel. I tend to not like making space stations. Because they don't really have a use in Kerbal Space Program. And I don't like making things that are useless. Unlike Matt Lowndes who just makes things because they look nice. And things looking nice is good because then they look nice because then they're pleasant to look at yeah there we go English language see I just attached on the screen I just attached that um, that upper pod and I adjusted its orbit so that um, it didn't re-enter re now this main pod with Jebediah Kerman in it is re-entering the atmosphere and landing. Well, it already re-entered the atmosphere. And now this second one is re-entering the atmosphere. Um, but it skipped out of the atmosphere, so now it's re-re-entering the atmosphere. Or would you just say re-entering the atmosphere for every single time? I guess you would. Because the first time it is entry in the atmosphere, and the second is re-entry. And then the third would be re re entry, yeah, yeah. Um, even I used three of the parachutes. Cool. And, and now this is the craft that I designed to go to Minimus. Because I haven't gone to Minimus yet in this series. And it's, and Minimus has science that I, that I could use. Um, the first stage of this rocket is a twin bore liquid fueled engine. I don't know what the actual I don't know what like the number and letter combination name is, but sure. English make English is hard for, for me, even though I'm a native speaker of English. 
Um, this rocket, my goal was to have it under 40,000 funds of money, and it cost 39,000. So, yeah. I probably could have made it a little cheaper. There are some things that are unnecessary here. Um, like, the, the second stage is a little too fuel. I mean, the upper stage, the, the third one, has a little bit too much fuel. But that's okay. And also because you can't go to the, go to Minimus without getting free money, I'm performing a rescue mission. Which is why I used the KV-3 pomegranate pod. So I wanted to have Valentina, the scientist Kerbal. I think his name is Bob, but it might be Bill. But then I, I still needed one more seat so that I could rescue the person. I think it's... Dodger Kerman, Dodger Kerman. He has, he had like the Kerbal that I was rescuing had like some super weird name. Um, but you won't have a scientist so that you can reset your science experiments, and you won't have a pilot so that you can fly your ships. So I had both of those, but then I still needed to perform the rescue mission. And I think Dodger Kerman ended up being a scientist, so I didn't need to use Bill, but I didn't know that before. Before I started this mission. Because you can't look in the tracking station to see what the what the job of the people that you um, are rescuing is. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. Because if you click on, on their pod, there's no there's no option that says fly which is kind of weird i don't know what it's dodger kerman i think that that's the name of, of the person that i rescued and the people who are paying actually paying attention to the video and not just listening to the commentary might just have noticed that I made a maneuver node to go to the Mon. And it's because I'm stupid and forgot that I was going to Minimus. Which is, like, not the smartest thing to do. Or we could just say I wanted to do a Mon assist to save fuel on my way to, on my way to Minimus. But that, that, but that would be a lie. So I realized that like halfway through, but after I performed the burn and after uh, after I had made a quick save after the burn, so I couldn't load quick saves, and I didn't feel like reverting the flight because that would be hard. Well, did I just keep a quick something a quick save that I loaded in there? Well, as you can just see, I overshot my maneuver node using time warp, and then I loaded a quick save to go back I usually I usually try to cut out the quick saves that, that I've loaded I guess I forgot about that one um, and this is my plane change maneuver to go to Minimus as you might have noticed I didn't get into a perfectly equatorial orbit and that's because um, I, I just didn't do it I don't have to explain everything I do but I don't think it was possible for, from where I did, and I didn't want to do it at the descending or ascending nodes because that would have cost way too much delta V. It doesn't always cost way too much delta V to do a burn at an ascending or ascending node, but in this situation it did because none of them were in good locations. And now I'm about to pre prepare. Now I'm preparing to perform the capture burn to get captured at Minimus. Uh, 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 and now that the landing legs are folded, you can see that I have six of them instead of the usual four because I didn't feel like having my craft fall over because that's something that's happened to me multiple times. So I probably could have saved money by using three landing legs. I think you can land with three. I've never actually done it before, but I, I would assume you can. Okay, we touched down on in this now. Bob, uh, Bob, 
Bob Kerman is doing science experiments. I figured out his name because I can see it on the screen. Well, I'm assuming Bob's gender. Bob could be, like, female. I don't know. Could Bob be female? I guess you, you can't assume based on names. And I planted a flag for Bob. And Bob planted a flag because... Because Bob needs to, to level up. And flags give you more XP than not flags. Than not planting flags. Which is kind of weird. It seems like landing on a surface would be... Like, planting a flag doesn't seem like it would give you that much XP. But I guess they just wanted a way to... A, a good way to, to give XP. Well, I not just like anyone who lands on the surface gets XP. Wouldn't that make more sense? I don't know. So, this is me taking off from Minmus, and then that's the maneuver node to get in, to circularize at Minmus. I, I guess you would call that an or, orbital insertion maneuver, not a circular, circularization burn. But whatever, they're all the same to me. I, I'm just the person who does commentaries. Well, actually, I also flew this mission. Um... As you can, uh, as you saw uh, on the video a while back, um, I, I didn't go straight from Minmus into re-entering the atmosphere because if I did, I would have gotten a Mun encounter, and that would have been, and that would have been bad. So I, I didn't do that. And that's the mission, almost done. And then we'll probably cut to like a black screen with stuff on it. Yeah, please subscribe.